Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy's Michelle Stone, and I'm taking you inside KSC. A team of nearly 100 engineers came together February 3rd to work through various countdown simulations for the launch of Artemis 1. The historic mission will be the first integrated test flight of the Orion spacecraft and the space launch system that will ultimately land the first woman and the next man on the moon. Under the leadership of NASA's first female launch director, Charlie Blackwell Thompson, the team went through a series of simulated challenges, as well as a final countdown procedure. These important tests were conducted inside the Launch Control Center's Firing Room 1 at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. There are a total of 10 planned simulations for the terminal count, involving teams from Orion, Space Launch System, and Exploration Ground Systems, working together in a launch configuration. During these exercises, different issues are introduced to familiarize the team with launch day operations. This allows them to practice how they will tackle those issues in real time. Gateway Logistics Element Manager Mark Weiss was the keynote speaker at the Air Cargo 2020 conference in Nashville, Tennessee on January 27th. Weiss explained NASA's plan for a commercial supply chain to the Gateway, a lunar outpost, to the 900 air transport executives in attendance. He highlighted the importance of collaboration with private industry while also presenting an overview of the agency's Artemis Deep Space Exploration Program. During deep space exploration, Gateway will provide astronauts with a sustained presence near the moon to enable crew members to explore more of the lunar surface than ever before and will serve as a waypoint before journeying onto Mars. For more Inside KSC, check us out on social media and at nasa.gov forward slash